Oh, sharp. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep, sharp spikes. Watch out. <laughs> All right, let's get on the road. Put some distance between us and the old naked grips. Okay, boomer. All right, Survivors Polly Jr. here. Welcome back to Night of the Dead with yours truly, Paulina Pudgewood. We're picking up where we left off here after the end of the last episode. It is now the same day, actually. It's nighttime, 2,300 hours. You can see that up in the top right-hand corner. So we have to, uh, we got to prepare for a horde. Apparently, we get hoarded every single night. Uh, sort of like seven days to die when the horde comes every seventh night. Well, in this game, you get it every night. How how fun. <laughs> so we have some preparations to make here. You guys left a whole bunch of comments and tips down below. Very helpful tips. Keep those coming. Um, and the likes as well. Smash that like button. Let me know that you guys want to see more. And we shall continue. So let's get ready for this horde. It's going to be here in an hour. One thing we can make here... Um, to help get through the night are these barbed fence traps. I mean, we have all kinds of traps to make, but this one's going to be the easiest one. I just collected a whole bunch of wood and sticks, and I made up some ropes. So we're going to go ahead and put some of these out down by the front over here. But we can make some lights as well. Let's get the lights up because we can't really see very well. Um, and that's under utility, fire, and then lighting equipment. We just need uh, trimmed logs and some fuel. And we can make fuel right here. Check it out with our gasoline that we had found. So we'll make a bunch of fuel. Um, we need trimmed logs. Is that what that was? Let's make a couple of those. And we'll put some lights out so we can see through the night while we fight these guys right here. So here's one. And we'll just put it over here in the corner. One there. And then maybe one over here right there. Oh, and I think they just run forever. I mean, I don't see any way to refuel it. So I'm guessing they have endless fuel. Fantastic. Um, and yeah, they're pretty bright. Great. Now, let's make our spiked traps here under the uh, the clacking teeth. <laughs> Barbed fence. We're going to need more trim logs to a piece. All right. Let's whip up some of these. We got one, two, seven, eight. That'll give us four. I'm hoping that is enough. Uh, let's find out. Let's see. Uh, all right, look at those. They're pretty big. I'm going to put it down right here in front of the stairs, like right there. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry, Paulina. Oh, she got too close. You got you to gotta be careful with those things. They're sharp. Oh, I took a little bit of damage. Darn it. It's all right. We can, we can heal up. She's got some food in her backpack that should help heal her up. Can we get those a little closer? I guess we can do unsnap, but I think that's fine. I want to leave a little space in the front so we can get up and down. Um, although maybe, hold on, let's hold down all. Oh yeah, that's what I want right there. Um, let's put one in the front. I mean, we don't have to get back down now. I think we're just going to stay right up here all night. It's going to, they're going to be here very, very soon. So we're just going to slap all these down around. And we have a bunch of sticks that can be used to repair through the night. Um, all you have to do is look at something and repair it. Um, and we can break stuff down with a claw hammer. I think I'm going to go ahead and make the claw hammer. And let's make some more arrows. Just a bunch of arrows to get through the night here. Uh, I'll leave one piece of iron. That's 22 arrows. Yeah, hopefully that can get us through the night. I don't know. But yeah, I think um, if these do take damage, we can just repair them with the sticks. Let me show you how that works. I'm going to grab my claw hammer. And I'm going to bang on something over here. Like, let's just bang on this. Put the claw hammer in your hand. And we, oh, here they come. Oh, it's a fox. Okay, never mind. <laughs> and if I hit something like this, bang, it does damage. And then we hit T to repair. Yeah, somebody is coming. Hello? Oh, good evening, sir. Come on up. <laughs> Oops. Oh, we got through. Is, uh, she got through. Wow. Is there a little gap there or something? Maybe, but it did enough damage that she only took one hit to kill. That's that's fine. It's fine by me. Like I said, if we thin the herd, well, that worked perfectly fine. They are trying to squeeze through, aren't they? <laughs> that hurts, huh? Yes. Fantastic. If we can just uh, do enough damage... That it only takes one shot with the spear. We can do this all night long. Assuming these things can handle the load. Oh, wait a minute. They're not even... Are they damaged? 
I don't know. Maybe I can't fix them. Oh, we got through. Hi. Come on up. Two shots for that guy. All right, well, it's not perfect, but it's doing enough damage. It slows them down. And then uh, Paulina can just stab them. Holy cow, what was that? Uh, that was a bird. I mean, I could shoot them with the arrows, too, to weaken them e even more. But I'm going to hang on to the arrows just in case things get too crazy here. Oh, he almost got through. <laughs> Maybe if we put more spikes up, it'll do even better. Oh, I want to shoot that bird. Got him. Uh, hopefully we can retrieve him in the morning because I can't get down now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in, buddy. It's nice inside here. Nice and cozy. Whoops. Oh, maybe not so much. And he's, uh, he's, he's, he's twitching. <laughs> I want that arrow and that crow. I wonder what we get from it. But now it seems like it's too late to put some stairs down or something. Yeah, right here. Come on in the front. There's no other way up. There you go. Whoops. All right. Close, but no cigar. And these don't look like they... Well, either they can't be repaired or they're just simply not taking any damage. That would be amazing. If they don't take any damage, that would absolutely be outstanding. I'd like to poke some of you fools, too. Oh, I missed. Oh, sharp. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep, sharp spikes. Watch out. <laughs> yeah, so what I didn't know about this game is that it is obviously a zombie survival game but also somewhat of a like a tower and defense game. So if this happens every single night, we're going to need to make some defenses and be prepared for that. We can channel the, the hordes through our defenses. Uh, we have spikes. We have all kinds of traps. You saw them. We'll take a look at more after this night is through. But you can even make like flamethrowers. Um, and yeah, so it's going to be like a, a tower defense game where you want to thin the herd out as much as possible with your perimeter defenses or your contraptions, killing them and weakening them, and then you can fight them. But this guy's kind of weird. Can you get through there? We, uh, go around. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I left spikes out. Can we make stairs? Because I like to go down and get that crow. Yes, we can make some stairs. The problem is if I make the stairs right now, um, they're gonna, it's gonna screw everything up. I don't think I can get back up fast enough, and then I have to destroy the steers. May not be worth it just for that one arrow and that crow. Still might be there in the morning. Well, it's now 1 o'clock anyway, so let's see uh, let's see how long this horde lasts. Is this, They just keep coming one at a time. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's make up the stairs. I'm going to do this really, really quick. Stairs down. A whole bunch of logs. Oh, someone's coming. Hold on. Yeah, this is just gonna keep going all night like this, I think. So hopefully he dies on the spikes. Uh, sounded like it. <laughs> now we're gonna go down here and get that arrow and the birdie. Oh, harvesting. Although we don't have any way to cook it yet. Right now, I gotta get rid of this thing. I can show you the claw hammer. Oh, still going that way. Oh, wait a second. Um, oh, gosh, I hit this one, too. Repair that. Maybe we can leave this stair over here if they just keep coming from that direction. They don't even see the back door. Okay. Great. Let's see if he's smart enough to go around. Maybe he's trying. No, he's coming straight for us. As long as there's no zombies coming from this direction, we'll be okay. I really don't like that placement, though. I would have put it somewhere else had I known I wasn't just going to destroy it. Oh. Hello. <laughs> we'll leave this stair up for the night, because we might have to use it to go fetch things. Like, maybe maybe I'll start shooting them with arrows, too, just for practice. It seems like they're all coming from this direction over here. I wonder if there's some kind of, like, laboratory or something where they're all coming from. <laughs> I don't know. We might have to go investigate. Can I have my arrow back, please, ma'am? Aww. Oh. Well, oh, no. Stay down. Stay down. It's better for everybody. Thank you. All right, I'm going to run back up here. And another one. Whoa! You had the right idea the first time, ma'am. <laughs> like she was going to go around in the back. And then she changed her mind. Took the shortest route. Oops. Oh. Oh. 
Nice. Nice try. A for effort. Down she goes. Oh! That looked painful. Oh! Look at this guy. Hoodie. Maybe he's smarter than the rest? Nope. Not so much. Howdy, neighbor! Come on up for tea! And watch out for the spikes. Oh, I'm all out of tea. Sorry. Just kidding. Get down. Down. Double tap. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. What do you want, buddy? <laughs> Come right to the front door. The back door's not working. Yep. Oh, sorry. Wow, look at this group. Holy smokes. You know what? Maybe they're coming out of that, um, the bunker. Isn't that where we came out of? That, that seems to make sense. Wow, this is a big group. You guys didn't even look across. You didn't even look both ways. You should look both ways. Oh my gosh, we're getting through. <laughs> okay, time to vacate. Time to vacate. It's a big squad. Maybe this is the big squad. Uh, and maybe that's how it ends with the big squad at the end. <laughs> but uh, yeah, not, yeah, the music stopped. All right, we got the big squad. I picked something up off the ground too, some kind of a bag. There's another one. Uh, research material: rubber ring, piece of iron, piece of cloth, plastic. All right, neat. So they drop stuff occasionally. That's awesome. Oh, there's our bird meat. Um, but we have to cook it before we can eat it because it's raw right now. Well. That wasn't so bad. Let's go down and check the condition of these spikes. Maybe I just can't see it from up there. No, these look fine. I don't think they can be repaired. Uh, there's no... Well, maybe they're taking damage, but they certainly cannot be repaired. I don't have that option. Um, I will repair this, though. It's just a stick. Very good. And then this one here. Yeah, the repair is super fast and, and pretty cheap. Um, these stairs, we're just going to keep the stairs here for now to get up and down, obviously. Um, but I'm probably, well, I'm going to work on the base more off camera probably, but, uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to wait for morning because there's nothing else happening tonight and it's no fun to do this in the dark. So when the sun comes up, we'll go out and do some more adventure. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, what is that? Is something in the woods. Is that a... It's a wolf! Run! Paulina, run! <laughs> oh, gosh. Can we lead him to the spikes, I wonder? Come on over here, buddy. Oh, yeah, we can. Right up and over and into the spikes. Oh, you so dumb. I thought maybe the canines would be smarter than the zombies, but not so much. All right. Can we skin him? Oh, he's still flinching. Put him out of his misery, Paulina. <laughs> Let's see what we get from a poor little wolfie. Intestine, meat, wolf bones, and wolf skin, and our inventory is almost full. You know what? I'm going to put that jacket back on. I think this is it for the slots. I mean, once you're out of slots, you're out of slots. We can upgrade them, I think, eventually, but right now we have literally three slots left. Um, we need to make a container, but we just don't have the, uh, the ingredients. We need more metal to make nails. And I don't want to go out there in the middle of the night because it's just no fun. You guys can't see. And uh, it's kind of dangerous. So I'm going to wait for the day. Just going to gather more materials for building up the base. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay. It's now 6 o'clock in the morning. The sun is up. And it's time to go out and do some scavenging. Let's go do it. Oh, check it out. The trap uh, was was triggered. And we have... Uh, is that a bunny rabbit? looks like a little bunny rabbit. Sadly, I do not have any space for it, so we're just going to leave it there, reset the trap. <laughs> but at least we know it works. Yeah, I don't want to use up all my inventory space. I've got very few precious slots left. And we got to go get some more material. We need um, iron, mostly, right? So let's go back over here to that house that we had found in that last episode. And there's some more scrap here in the yard. Yeah, that looks really creepy. I don't see any zombies around. Oh, hold on. I take that back. I don't see them, but I do hear them. So maybe there's some inside, but this is what we're looking for right here. We need research material. So when we get that research table, we can learn some new skills and things. And that cloth is super important. But we really mostly need metal right now so we can make nails and get a, uh, a chest made up so we can dump some of our inventory. And we're going to get metal from this barrel right here. Oh, yeah. You can hear him snorting inside. <laughs> Ooh, two iron from that. Very, very nice. Um, let's go look in the windows. There's definitely somebody in there. Uh, hello? Anybody home? 
Just passing through, neighbors. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's a fox. Okay. <sighs> I'm not too afraid of the foxes. Um, oh, there's somebody there. I see, I see a head. Hi, somebody in the kitchen grabbing a snack. Maybe making breakfast. All right, there's a door right there. Should we check it out? I'd like to draw them out. Maybe draw them out and then kill them out here. Can we open that? Oh, yeah, we can. Hello? Anybody home? Come on out. Say hi. Your new neighbor's here. Look at this stupid pigeon. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a guy right there. Can I shoot him? How can I draw him out? Let's see if I can jump and shoot at the same time. No, can't jump and shoot at the same time. All right, we're going to... Run in, and then stab him! Okay, now run. <laughs> oh, yeah, here he comes. Right behind us. Shoot him. In the head. There we go. That ought to do it. Can I have those back, please? Oh, dang it, they're gone. I don't like that. Yeah, if you shoot him in the head and then his head explodes, explodes I think the arrows disappear. That's unfortunate. Uh, oh, we shot the door. Oh, we can bust down the door. That's cool. Oh, it's a jacket. Can I have that jacket? Can't take the jacket. Uh-oh. Music just kicked in. Interesting. Let's close that. What is that? A first aid kit or something? A sweatsuit. Ooh, try that on. Whoa, look at those. Do they provide any benefit? No, just black sweatpants. They look great. <laughs> So I guess we can drop the jeans. Uh, we'll hold on to the jeans because, you know, sometimes sometimes a gal wants to put on a nice cozy pair of jeans. Nice cotton jeans. Right, we're going to open this door up. And we're going to open this door up. And then we're going to make a run for it. Hi. Come on out and play, everybody. Here they come. All right. We can take them. We can take them. I'm going to go for one headshot. Try not to explode his head, though. If we explode the head, then we lose all of our arrows that are in the head. So let's just do it that way. Oh, yeah. Oh, there they are. Okay. <laughs> They're over here. Pick them up. They're rolling away. I mean, they're hard to see in that grass. Really hard to see. Maybe the other ones are over here somewhere. There's like a carrot or something there. Can't pick it up. Still more zombies in here. Come on out, big fella. Hi. Yeah. Oh. Stop. Okay, here she comes. I think that's Big Mama. There's always a Big Mama. There was a dude over there in the street, too. Okay, we don't... Oh, wow. Yeah. She's slow. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, slow in the head and slow in the body. Come around the corner, girl. There we go. <laughs> These arrows are pretty fantastic. They shoot perfectly straight. No drop. Yeah, she's a slow one. Can we hit her in the leg? No, nah, let's just go for the headshot. Big mama! Why does every zombie game have a big mama? Holy cow. Alright, just fine. Headshot. The arrows do fall out. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's go back into that house. I think there's one family member left. <laughs> right. Let's go check it out. Oh, there's something right there. On the bed. Oh, hi. Maybe there's more than one inside. I hear, I hear a whole bunch of people. Come on out. Oh, put some clothes on. Oh, whoa, he's a leaper. Oh, he's a leaper. Old grandpa's a leaper. Holy moly, and he's naked. Slow down, Gramps. Oh, my gosh. Oh, whoa. All right, let's get on the road. Put some distance between us and the old naked Gramps. Okay, Boomer. Holy, what is wrong with this guy? Jeez, he's on something. Hey, get back here. Oh, never mind. Woo. Okay, I think we got him. Um, give me back my arrows. I'm glad he fell face first and not on his back. <laughs> he didn't drop anything though, huh? Well, how could he? He doesn't have anything on him. He's completely nude. Okay, let's go see who's left in this house. Man, they squeezed him into this place, didn't they? A whole family. Three generations worth. All right, let's get that energy back before we go in. Uh, yeah, there's um, there's Johnny. Little Johnny. Little Johnny! Come on out now. Oh, my gosh. Little Johnny and, and Daddy. Ah! I missed. I missed again. Whoa! Okay. There's one. Woo! Stuck. 
Oh, God, Dad. Whoa, Dad's fast, too. You oh, and his jumper. They're all jumpers in this family. Oh, Dad's got... Ow! Oh, he backhanded Pauline right in the face. Oh, God, who are you? All right, we're just going to bring him back and let the spikes do the work. Let's see if he walks into them. Yep. As I suspected, right into them. And Dad over here... Oh, he's going back. Hey, Dad? Daddy! Not done with you. Yeah, look at him. Why is he... He's just so cool. <laughs> Shot him in the back of the room. Oh! He's just jumping. Ooh, he does a jump and a spin move. Does he have a bag on his face? What the heck is going on in that house? You know what? Don't even tell me. It's a rhetorical question. All right, come on over here, pops. Right? Oh, watch out for those spikes, though. Yeah. Oh, they hurt. And he dropped a bag. Nice. All right, give me back my arrows. Research material. Pieces of iron. One iron, anyway. Some plastic. Okay. Put the spear down. We're safe here. <laughs> Let's make up the five nails. Five nails and a storage container. And we'll drop it right down here. Open it up. Oh my gosh, that's it? It's like 12 slots. That's ridiculous. Be very quiet. We're hunting Wabbit. Oh, never mind. They're dead. Okay, get up, Paulina. You're fine. <laughs> yeah, we got uh, two Wabbits here in our deadfall trap. I'm just going to leave the carcasses there. Because, well, we don't really have a whole lot of space to carry them around. Uh, well, let's... All right, let's do it. Because I think they might, they might actually decay over time so we might as well do this so we have two priorities now we want to make up the research table and we want to make up the cooking bench or pot or whatever it's called so that we can start cooking up some of this meat here get some real proteins in the system yeah it looks like all the critters give very specific critter meat like rabbit meat wolf meat and crow meat that kind of thing yeah i know it hurts come on out Come on out. How many people were in this house? Like, whoa. Woo. Yeah, miss. <laughs> oh, he smacked the tree. <laughs> Take it out on the tree, you big meanie. All right, those arrows are easier to get back when they're stuck in the body. Yeah, much easier to see. Now, is that it? It's got to be it. There can't be any more zombies inside here, can there? Oh, here's something. I think that's just a fox outside. All right, we're clear. Finally, what do we got here? We got uh, some stuff on the bo on the ground floor. Some kind of boxes. Uh, rifle bullets and pieces of iron. One piece of iron. Good. We're going to need like 10 iron to make the research table and the cooking bench thing. This is great. We got bullets here. Oh, there's a container right here. Whoa, look at all this. Research material, trimmed stone, iron ingots, rifle bullets, gunpowder, and iron plates. Oh, those are going to be great. They're used in a lot of recipes, apparently. And then we have another box here. I'd like to find a gun, if possible. That would be pretty spectacular. We got nail. One nail. That's good. Planks and lumber. And what is this thing? Take it. Sneakers! Oh! Sneakers, worn leather shoes or sneakers. Oh yeah. Will they make us run faster? Oh, Paulina, those look smashing. <laughs> Let's go clear this house too while we're at it, because we we still need a lot more pieces of iron. Like I said, about ten. There's a, a car right here we can dismantle. In fact, we might not even need to go to that house. Let's not even bother right now. It takes too long to clear these houses. There's so many zombies inside. So we're just gonna grab all the detritus on the ground here in the street go back and make what we need and then we'll probably call it a day should be able to get all the iron we need right here yeah this is a long long road that we can travel look at that i see a whole bunch of cars there's buildings in the distance i mean the map seems pretty good size we're way down here and i'm assuming the whole thing is populated yeah, this is going to be fun. I am really enjoying this game quite a bit, guys. This and the Infected, I think both of them are worthy of our time. 
Speaking of the infected, I will be recording that shortly after this one. So if you're wondering where that is, don't fret. It's on its way. New episode. And I will be playing both of these because I find them both to be pretty enthralling. And again, if you guys are enjoying this, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Give me some tips, any feedback, comments down below as well. All right, that's uh, pieces. Of, ooh, two pieces of iron off that feller. Ten, I think. I think that will do. I think that's all we need. So let's um, let's get back to base and get our stuff set up. Oh, what is this? Is he coming at us? Holy smokes, he's coming right at us! Whoa! There's an angry stag. Get wrecked on my spikes. Oh, no, he's not. Holy cow. Yeah, he is salty. Salty stack. Wow. Jeez, dude. Yeah, come on up here. Seems like he's smarter than the zombies and smarter than the wolf. 